Hey friends, Tux here. I wanted to go ahead and talk a little about Alienware. And this is the one I just purchased. Um, this is something which I purchased through Dell. And of course, it's the type of thing where you can buy them on Amazon. In fact, I will have a link for you down below for Amazon too. Um, sometimes you can get better deals one place or the other. I'm always hunting out the best deal. And that's why at the time I bought this on Dell because they did have a special. Um, but Amazon has had faster and better shipping and there's definitely some options that because Dell can take a very long time to do the build for you. Um, the actual keyboard itself, I do have both the 510 and the 410 keyboards. This is the 510 keyboard here, um, but I do have some videos on the keyboards uh, coming up or already up if you check my queue. Um, I do like the teal, so this is kind of like the default color of this particular Alienware, so I kind of went with this. This is the Dark Side of the Moon edition of the Alienware with the AMD CPU. It's the 3700X, a core CPU. I went with the 16 megabytes of RAM um, and the 510, I'm sorry, 512F SSD, which is not enough. Um, um, so I definitely plan on putting my own drives into it. I purposely went with a smaller size SSD because the Dell kind of overprices them and I could put my own stuff in there. I mean, in fact, I actually have a lot of my own hardware too, but I wanted to keep the aesthetics of this pretty much like you'd suspect. Um, a few call outs for the Dark Side of the Moon Edition. Um, I definitely do like the fact that it's black. Um, I do like white ones too. And it was a real debate because I do like this white keyboard actually. And I didn't think I would, but I do, you know, so maybe I would have liked the white one. I'm not sure, but over the long term, I was thinking of you know past cases I've had and how they can get scuffed up and dirty and when you start putting velcro and stickers on and different things or whatever I think black holds up better and that's the reason why I chose black but really it's a color static thing it does not affect the performance so it really is something that you have to decide as a end buyer if you'd rather have black or white okay the front does feature three USBs a USB-C which is very useful to me actually my current computers do not have that so I'm really happy that it has these very conveniently placed um, ports and then of course headphones and microphones so very good I'm definitely digging this whole like little aesthetic little circle of light um, looks very cool um, this dark side of the moon one does not feature um, the lights on the internal part here that's probably something I could do myself add myself later or modify but um, I did not know that when I purchased this um, this one does not feature that light and this also does not feature the Alienware word on the side over here that lights up um, so maybe that's why they call it dark side of the moon I'm not sure um, I picked black because I like the black case um, not necessarily because of how much lighting it has or doesn't have in fact usually CPUs like this I tend to keep below the desk anyway I don't put them on the desk for display so I wasn't really too worried about having lights on the sides or the back or whatever although if you guys have seen my previous builds you know that I'm I've used like Cooler Master CM rigs that have like uh, like 12 fans or something or more maybe so and those of course are all light up LED fans so I am into the lighting of it but with this going kind of below the desk area I wasn't quite as concerned about it. In retrospect, would I buy the white one? I, I might. I mean, it's definitely something to consider. Look at both of them and determine what's better for you. Um, because again, I was surprised that actually I do like this white 510 keyboard a lot with the 33% lower throw keys. Now this did come with base, um, you know, keyboard and mice, so like basic Dell um, keyboard and mouse. And I was a little disappointed in the fact that when I first opened it up, um, it, it was saying that it was a AW mouse, AW keyboard, multimedia keyboard. But when you actually price them, you'll see they're kind of like the generic keyboards. Um, they do not come with the more expensive Alienware keyboards, which really is a shame. But I guess they're trying to keep the price down. Of course, when you buy this through Dell, you can configure it however you want it. And you can buy the more expensive keyboard with it if you like. Um, or you can just have it with a pack-in keyboard, um, which is probably about a $20 keyboard, which isn't bad. And it's functional, but it doesn't light up and all that type of stuff. And it's just kind of a basic multimedia keyboard and a very basic mouse as well. I'll have separate videos on the Alienware mice and keyboards too, so you can check those out. But all in all, this I really am digging the way this looks. I wasn't sure about buying this, and part of my, my logic, my fear of buying this case was the fact I was worried if it would actually be configurable for the future. Like, would another video card fit in here, okay? And this particular one, I did end up going with the 2000 series um, video card, um, NVIDIA uh, 2060, um, I think RTX, so super. And so I was, you know, not going with the 3 thousand series I could have paid more for the 3000 but I was already kind of like paying a lot for this so I decided the 2000 was a nice upgrade for me and I went with that for now okay as opposed to like doubling the price of the unit but right now part of my logic for buying this honestly was the fact that you really can't buy video cards anywhere it's a real hard situation to buy video cards and even CPUs um, do the semiconductor shortage it's really hard buying CPUs as well but video cards in particular are very very difficult to purchase 
purchase. So sometimes in cases like this, it was actually better to buy this on Dell with a coupon and I got like $400 off um, and actually over $400 off on it. So it was a thing where it actually made sense to just, instead of buying, trying to pay full price for a 2000 series video card, it was actually just smarter overall to just buy a new computer, you know, and upgrade the whole rig. And this is fast. I will say rendering video on Sony Vegas, what I use to render these videos, okay, what would normally take, um, you know, like 45 minutes or an hour, you know, takes like, let's say it takes an hour to render, it would take 15 minutes to render on this. So this is considerably faster in video rendering, okay? And I have played World of Warcraft, some games on it, and this definitely plays games great. Um, there's no lag, no slowdown. There's lots of videos that show you the exact FP but again, like that does vary based upon your exact RAM, your exact game, you know, what graphics are you on intense? Like, you know, like there's a lot of variables to that, but you can watch those videos if you want. But just know that if you buy this computer, an Alienware computer, it's gonna play games great, okay? There's gonna be no lag, no slowdown. It's gonna be beautiful, fast, and you're gonna have a good time. And also if you're streaming or doing video editing like me, this is a lifesaver. Honestly, sometimes I would have videos that I wouldn't put up because it would take so long to render them. And sometimes they might crash or something weird would happen or whatever. So the fact that this can render a video um, safely, securely without any problems in like, you know, a, like, 75% less time than before for me is a huge plus because that gives me extra time to make more videos or enjoy my day off or whatever. So um, definitely a big plus and that speed and rendering videos really applies to a lot of other things too. All right, enough about that. Let's go ahead and check out the back. Okay, so on the back here, you can see we have a number of ports. Um, we have a lot of USB. Um, we have a audio here, like a digital audio. Um, there's that um, Ethernet. This is I got the killer Ethernet, um, which you know hopefully will improve my speed or everything. Um, lots of USBs. We have a total of like one, two, three, four. We have six USBs up here. Then down here we have another uh, C USB C, and then we have four more USBs here too. And then there's a whole host of audio sound uh, outputs, which is great too for doing surround or whatever else you may have going on headphones etc etc um, down here is a video card um, I was surprised there is actually both a, um, a HDMI a display port and the older style display which I, I actually bought an adapter because I didn't think this display port would be on this video card so I was really happy to see that because um, now I won't need the adapter I bought and I could send it back or use it for something else because I didn't think this would be on this video card so that was a very happy surprise let's go ahead and open up this rig Okay, right up here, there's like a little lock here. This does require one screw, one Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take out this one screw and remove this little plastic lock, if you will. We'll make sure I don't lose my little screw. There we go. I think this comes off. Oh, that pulls. Okay, so this pulls and this pulls here. And this side part just pops right off is my understanding of it. There we go. Okay, so looking at the inside of this rig, you can see there's lots of room for different things. Um, right here is where one of the hard drives can go. We got the cable just here waiting, which is very nice. So that'd be very easy to go ahead and pop a hard drive in there. We have two more hard drive bays down here with the little plastic holders. So really this is mostly a situation where you don't even have to use screws or anything. Everything just pops in place with these blue plastic holders, okay? This kind of goes back to XPS and some of the previous Dells where they're trying to make it very easy to put things in place. Um, there is a downside of that is trying to have things be nice and tight, but in general, they are, you know? And there is a lot of room in here too, so there is still some room to configure or add things down the road. Now actually to open this up, this is the first time you're doing this, looks like we push up the two levers and this swings out. So let's go ahead and try this for the first time. I've never done this before, but we shall see. We'll pull these two up up and up and it looks like it's up maybe and this swings outward okay i would say this is extremely tight um this does open up like this and then on the inside here you can see what we have um, it looks like this one oh i thought this one was water cooled but this is fan cooled i can see and here's the um geforce uh graphics card and of course we have the two sticks of ram and lots of room for additional things now there is some room in here so you could i think theoretically you could add another video card that is even longer in place here um, but i'm really comfortable with this video card for right now but i did want to give you an idea what this looks like on the inside as far as how much room you have um, because that is a concern from someone 
someone who uses really large full-size cases that this case being a little unique in scope and size it might be hard to add things later and that is a problem you know it's something i'll have to contend to later down the road but for right now um definitely looks like we do have room for different hard drives we have different uh, rooms for extra ram of course and we do have room for another video card or a few other things to be added down here perhaps so very cool very configurable um and there is room for stuff you know i think if anything they could make this case a little bit bigger and i would be comfortable with that I do like the way this does shut. The one downside is that the power supply is actually, instead of being in the bottom or the top, the power supply is right here in this little contraption. So that may make it hard later to add a different type of power supply, although it is a square, so you probably could make it work. But I think down the road, it'd be hard to configure with a different brand of power supply. If this power supply glows, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and buy another Alienware power supply that fits this particular model. And that is the one downside of having a case like this. Uh, but it is pretty ingenious, the fact that you can just snap all these things back in place. Okay, so with the case open, final thoughts, I just want to say that I think that the case could be bigger, again. Um, but in general, though, I do like the aesthetics of it, and I like the functionality of having the ports in the front, and just the design of it, the lighting of it, everything is really cool, you know. So far, it has been pretty quiet, actually, for being a fan-cooled system. Um, I may put a different cooler in there later down the road. Um, down the road, I may opt for a different type of graphics card, too, although right now, I'm very comfortable with the GeForce. That's more than enough for video rendering, games, and everything else. And this AMD uh, chip, the CPU, has definitely proven itself to be very good. I've, I've actually had problems with AMD CPUs in the past with laptops that lock up or something. But this one here is, is definitely capable of handling what I throw at it, which is actually a lot, you know. Okay, to recap, great computer. I'm a fan. Like, I've liked Alienware's in the past, and I like them now. I think, and the, the opportunities, the negative side, really, the case could be a little bit larger for me, quite honestly. And also the fact that the, on the dark side of the Moon Edition, the Alienware word does not light up on the side. But I do like black cases, so it's really kind of a trade-off if the white case means that much to light up the Alienware word, okay? And that's probably something that maybe you could just fix yourself with a lighting kit from Alienware or something. I'm sure these are all, like, if Figurable, and you can change that if you really want to. Um, the same Alienware command center that is lighting for all this is included, so you can actually light up all these things to being different colors of Alienware head versus the little thing versus the keyboard. You can change all sorts of different combinations. The overall level, even under a maximum load rendering video or playing games at the most intense levels, the fan is not that loud. It's really actually quieter than the other computers I've had in the past. So I would say there is a little volume to it, as you might suspect when it's being a stress test but in general it's actually really quiet which i do appreciate um i love the ports in the front love the, again the look of the whole thing love the speediness of the accessories um i'd say it's a winner you know i might do a follow-up video after i've been using this for a little while down the road and let you know any kind of like bugs that might come up or any problems or whatever but so far i'm quite impressed i've already gotten little fingerprints all over it because i'm really enjoying it and i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions if you're on the wall of buying alienware or not or buying this model or that model or this CPU or not or whatever, um, let me know your comments. Shoot me an email, toys at gmail.com. Put a comment down below. I'm here to help you guys, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.